Mary was a pick me girl for God and was simping for him. Information reaching me is that there is a new Bible in town. town. Dear Christians, have you heard about this one? Come closer. It is called the Gen Z Bible. Like I promised, I was going to look at things happening in the West and here is one of them. Cody Baker bought the Gen Z Bible and his review on Amazon is something I find quite interesting. He says, Satan always tries to twist God's word from even the beninging. Why do I always say beninging? Such as Genesis 3 verse 1. This translation is a clear and direct evidence of that going on today. Those that make this translation are not Christians at all. Of course, makes sense. After looking at it myself, you are you are your father the devil and the desires of your father you want to do he was a murderer from the beginning and does not stand in the truth because there is no truth in him when he speaks a lie he speaks from his own resources for he is a liar and the father of it john 8 verse 44 i have to put at minimum one star for a review otherwise it would be zero of course there are also other poetic reviews. With a quick research, there are many other people who have independently published a book like this called the Gen Z Bible, so it's not just from this publisher. And also from my findings, this has been a conversation for over five years now. There's this particular channel that took time to make entertainment videos, of course, with the real Bible and the Gen Z's Bible. This is just a clip of it. First one, Genesis 1-1. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Day in a cat G sandcastle, big sky, little rock. 1 Corinthians 15:33. Do not be misled. Bad company corrupts good character. Don't be swerved. Sustains finessia being a real one. By the way, you know my initials are BRG. Yes, there's actually BRG Bible. Go and do research, you'll find it. Ah! I get Bible low, but that's not what we are talking about. As we have different Bible translations, this new one is getting some people really upset because the words that are being used is quite interesting. Listen for yourself. Where someone had taken the scriptures and translated it into Gen Z language. Now I'm going to read part of this. I do want to let you know I would never dishonor God's word. I have triple checked this to make sure this is exactly what Luke 1 communicates when the angel talks to Mary. Check this out. Mary was a pick me girl for God and was simping for him in prayer when the angel Gabriel appeared to her and said, Ayo, you're a real one and the top G is feeling you. But she thought his compliment was sus and gave him the side eye. So he said, so he said, baby girl, chill. God sent me to tell you, you've passed this vibe check. And low key, he wants you to have the main character. You name him Jesus and they will all say, he's him. She said, how can this be since I promised him my body count will always be zero, respectfully. He said, this ain't about cuffing season for the Holy Spirit will live rent free in you and your boy Jesus will be a divine bro. Beside, your cousin Elizabeth is with child, she who is already older than a boomer and whose husband is way past beekeeping age. So Mary said, bet. Gabriel left her on red and she let the Holy Spirit cook. What are we not going to see in this, our Christian faith? I won't be talking about the Gen Z Bible without presenting to you Gen Z's that are indeed what emulating. My name is Alistair Lig and I'm from Michigan City, Indiana. Alistair, please recite Romans 4, 1 through 14. Romans 4, 1 through 14. What then shall we say that Abraham our father has found according to the flesh? For if Abraham was justified by works, he has something to boast about, but not before God. For what does the scripture say? Abraham believed God, and it was accounted to him for righteousness. When we were living in Japan, we used to watch I Will Be shows on our computer. And when we moved to America here, we just decided to do I Will Be, and that's how we learned about it. Blessed are those whose lawless deeds are forgiven and whose sins are covered. It's very good to know scripture because it'll help you in life, and also you can like meditate on God's word too. Our winner! With 
well, before Bible B, I rarely read my Bible, like, ever. And after Bible B now, I read my Bible often, and I can understand the Bible a lot better. Peter Hong. All right, Peter, are you ready? Yes. Here we go. Peter, please recite Job 34, 16 through 27. Job 34, 16 through 27. If you have understanding, hear this. Listen to what I say. Shall one who hates justice govern? Will you condemn him who is righteous and mighty, who says to a king, worthless ones, and to nobles, wicked man, who shows no partiality to princes, nor regards the rich more than the poor, for they are all the work of his hands? In a moment they die, at midnight the people are shaken and pass away, and the mighty are taken away by no human hand, for his eyes are on the ways of a man, and he sees all his steps. There is no gloom or deep darkness where evildoers may hide themselves, for God has no need to consider a man further that he should go before God in judgment. He shatters the mighty without investigation and sets others in their place. Thus, knowing their works, he overturns them in the night and they are crushed. He strikes them for their wickedness in a place for all to see because they turned aside from following him and had no regard for any of his ways. Job 34, 16 through 27. Message. Let me not hear again the Danica. Deuteronomy 18, 15 through 19. That is correct. Please recite it. Deuteronomy 18, 15 through 19. The Lord thy God will raise up unto thee a prophet from the midst of thee, of thy brethren like unto me. Unto him ye shall hearken. According to all of that is erist of the Lord thy God, in Horeb in the day of the assembly, saying, Let me not hear again the voice of the Lord my God, neither let me see this great fire anymore that I die not. And the Lord said unto me, They have all spoken that which they have spoken. I will raise them up a prophet from among their brethren, like unto thee, and I will put my words in his mouth. And he shall speak unto them all that I shall command him. And it shall come to pass, that whosoever will not hearken unto my words, which he shall speak in my name, I will require it of him. Deuteronomy 18, 15 to 19. Danica, you substituted one word, but that's all right because you still got 250 points. Nice. Here's our next passage. Keep yourselves in the love of God. Zachary. Jude 1, 20 to 21. That is correct. Please recite it. Jude 1, 20 to 21. But you, beloved, building yourselves up on your most holy faith, praying in the Holy Spirit, keep yourselves in the love of God, waiting anxiously for the mercy of our Lord Jesus Christ to eternal life. Jude 1, 20 to 21. Can you give us some recitation of something really fast? I can say the books of the New Testament. No, you can't. In one breath. <laughs> okay, let's hear this. Go. Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, Acts, Lord, Romans, 1st, 2nd Corinthians, Galatians, Ephesians, Philippians, Colossians, 1st, 2nd Thessalonians, 1st, 2nd Timothy, Titus, Philemon, Hebrews, James, 1st, 2nd Peter, 1st, 2nd Third, John, Jude, Revelation. Bam! Bam! Wow! Wow! I got it. Zach, that recitation of the books of the Bible was as perfect as your score. 500 points. Very well played. Eh? The way you are talking about, hey, yeah, 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 yeah. This one, this one, this one is too much. What do you think about it? A lot of things are going on in the faith that probably you don't know. Michael, live the life. For this heavenly citizens' church, wait day for Lagos for Nigeria. The members don't begin to use new Bible. We go help them but do God message well well. So far, so far hook me. So far, so far hook me. But this is not the point. I don't know if the young man that is translating the Bible to Pigeon English has finished translating it by now. But you see, you yourself would dare not 
take a pen and then cancel a word in your own Bible. I don't know if you do that. I think the least we do is either highlight or underline or mark, but not canceling the words of the Bible to say that what you are reading in your Bible, depending on the, the translation you're using. Everyone knows I use NLT. Um, preferred, preferably, you could have any one of your choice. That's just what I prefer to use. So the point I'm trying to make right here is that you see that it being more like a one man's uh, thing or one man's venture. I don't know if the young man is doing it in his own uh, volution or his own, like if there's a team that is working with him, there would actually be a couple of mistakes here and there when it comes to the translation. But if the goal is to reach as many as possible who can not get Queen's English, then I think it makes sense. But even at that as well, I think there should be you know, a team or a body in support of this so that, you know, two good heads are better than one, they say. And probably there'll be no issues of them scribbling and then cancelling words, of course, while you're reading the Bible that you're supposed to believe to be an authority in a way. But let's go on with the video on routers, by the way. Credits to routers on this. This, now the first Bible with them right for Niger Pigeon. This language with them, they call Pigeon English. Naim, almost everybody, they like speak for the country. Pastor Ben at Bevwe, don't they use the Bible for him church where they for Ejibu? Him say, many of him church people know to Sabi book and them like Niger Pigeon. Why would they use the PG Bible? It's not be like saying, I'm waiting, they, they wait for sin because they, they understand that where they, they enter. The explanation, they're very easy for them to understand. So they like the Bible. While speaking, they give it papa joy. The Pigeon Bible, now the result of three years' work, where the writer Salem Ego do. This is not the Pigeon Bible. Him say he won't make people understand the Bible well, well, because even though English is not the official language, but no be waiting everybody they speak. They are not in sufficient words. But him say plenty English words no match pigeon. He come from new words like calling chariot, horse, moto. Ego say many examples like that day. Now him make him add small dictionary of 1,000 words for the back of the Bible. Back for the church. One member where her name na Elizabeth Eromosele say the Bible day easy for her to read. You don't need to crack your brain too much to read them. So far you know how to write or read small. You go feel read them. You know they hard. You know they difficult to read. For now, the Pigeon Bible gets New Testament, Book of Psalms, and Book of Proverbs. Ego, they write the remaining of the Old Testament and say the complete Bible go ready before this year end. Probably the Bible should be left in its simplicity and then what's the point of translating it to Gen Z? Except you are just trying to make mockery of the word itself. Okay. <laughs> Mary was a pygmy girl for God and was simping for him in prayer. When the angel Gabriel appeared to her and said, Ayo, you're a real one, and the top G, the top G is feeling you. But she thought his compliment was sus and gave him the side eye. So he said, baby girl, chill. God, God sent me to tell you you've passed his vibe check. And Loki, he wants you to have the main character. You name him Jesus. And they will say, he's him, the one prophesied in the divine dad lore, <laughs> whose solos all and whose crushing it never ends. He will take the W from all his ops and his kingdom will go hard forever. She said, how can this be since I promised him my body count will always be zero? <laughs> Respectfully. <laughs> he said, this ain't about cuffing season. For the Holy Spirit will live rent-free in you, and your boy Jesus will be a divine bro. Besides, your cousin Elizabeth is with child, who is already older than a boomer, and whose husband is way past his beekeeping age. So Mary said bet, and Gabriel left her on red, and she let the Holy Spirit cook. <laughs> 